Abe, tell me about these projects you got. Okay, so starting here, I have uh, a gas mask with dreadlocks made out of bike inner tubes, held back with red surgical tubing. Just does what you see here, looks scary. This is a cell phone charger that I made because I was going into the woods for a long time. RC car battery, goes to a five volt regulator, capacitors to smooth it out, and the USB port. I had to tie the data lines of the uh, port together to foil the uh, phone's attempt to authenticate the charger. So it thinks that's a genuine LG charger, although it's a little less genuine than you might think. <laughs> this is cat ears for people. It has these two gloves with paw pads and a headband with the ears on it. All of the paw pads are conductive thread, and there's thread inside connecting them. So if you fold the fingers down to touch the hand, the ear folds down. And the way I've got it set up now, this glove controls that ear, this glove controls the other ear, <laughs> and there's a sensor in the middle here where if you pet it, the ears fold down and stay down for a little bit. And that's all powered from this little package which has battery pack, and then over here, that's just a board that I put on the top, and underneath where that red light is, is a Modern Devices Arduino bare bones board. Use that because it's a little cheaper, a little smaller than an Arduino, and fit nicely on this garter belt, essentially. This belt was around my leg, and then when I put the rest of my outfit on, it hit all the wires, which kind of uh, amused and surprised some And people. so this is up here, you know, if you touch a couple of them, or um, how does that? There are two rows of conductive yeah. thread coming up through the fur. Okay. So you have to push the first row back so that it hits the second row. Oh, and then when the fur springs forward, it opens the connection again. That's too good. And so you have to go with the grain of the fur. So you can get it to work going the other way, <laughs> yeah. but not as reliably. And yeah. going like that, just yeah, not it. so much. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And then the gloves. The gloves you have, just so. Did you use a sewing machine on that? Or no, Jane? that was all hand embroidered. Oh my. It took the better part of two days. Like, lots wow. of Wow, okay. And, and the thumb does the same thing? The or? thumb and the palm are on the same circuit. There's oh, okay. one line that comes around here, and then one line that comes up and connects those three. Yep. Or no, connects these three. The pinky I left unconnected so that I can have future expansion. If okay. I want to have some other function, maybe a tail that wags, that sort of sure. thing, I could put it Oh, on that's pinky. nice. And then in here you've got servos, or what yep. have you got? Uh, micro servos. So okay. they're smaller, lighter, easier to mount on your head. You don't have to worry about the weight and okay. power draw on the full size servos. Nice. They are just barely strong enough to hold the ears. Like oh, okay. Like, not a lot of torque on them. Yeah. And then the umbrella. The umbrella jellyfish. These were a project for Firefly, which is an art festival. They have a speaker and a voice recorder that records and plays back ambient sounds. And that's all controlled by this circuit here, which has transistors to drive the LEDs, so for the color selection, voltage regulator, and that's a microcontroller. Program in C has 8K of code space. Mm -hmm. It's like one dollar now. It's amazing oh. how fast they got really cheap. And then that's the battery pack on it. The thing is, the battery pack will run it for about seven hours. And after that, it needs new batteries. So with five of these, six batteries each, four night art festival, it ain't a lot of batteries. My plan for next year is solar cells to charge the batteries during the day, yep. and then a circuit to switch them on at night. So with any luck, I won't have to be pulling them down, replacing the batteries, or putting them back up. Sure. That's that. And they still work as umbrellas. <laughs> totally waterproof, all the That's modifications nice. on the inside. That's great. And um, will you, uh, you've got some information about this online someplace? Um, I have the initial information up on an old website, mm -hmm. and it's just about these. And then I have my new website, my blog, gizmosmith.com. Okay. And that's where I'm going to publish the full documentation, the source code, the PCB art, everything you need to build your own. Great. All right, well, hey, thanks a bunch. These are neat projects. Thank you.